Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Profile Plus. This is Padma. In this video today, I am going to teach you all how to just replace this boring term, take care. Just look at this word, take care friends. See, whenever you just meet anyone uh, in day-to-day -day life, normally when you make a very cordial conversation, first thing we start the conversation with, how are you? Isn't it? And then we end the conversation with, take care. But for both these kind of a questions and uh, the bidding note, a buy and take care, we normally use the standard answers. How are you? I'm fine. Or mostly I'm good. Okay. See, this is quite boring when you answer the same way every day when someone asks, Hey, how are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine. It looks so boring. So today in this video, I'm going to just teach you all some interesting answers you can give to the person who asks you, how are you? Okay. Also, when you just tell them bye and take care, how can you just replace this word take care and be even more stylish with certain phrases? Let's just begin the video. Yes, friends first let's see the better ways to say take care okay see just stop saying this boring term take care along with your bye see normally we do this either uh, you text somebody or you just meet someone you just say hey oh, okay bye take care okay just stop using this term take care and replace that with interesting words and phrases from now the very first word you can use is a hey, hi bye okay I'll just I'll just move bye be good okay be good see this is um, uh, it you don't have to be so conscious that which occasion or to whom you have to say be be good be good is nothing but uh, just like saying take care okay so it is not like you just go and insist someone to be good no so don't misunderstand the word be good okay so you can either say to your children to anybody to your friends to your colleagues See, be good is nothing but not the behavior. It is all about your wellness. So, please understand the term be good. The second one here is be careful. Okay. I'll just meet you tomorrow. Be careful. So, you bid a uh, nice bye and you also tell your friend be careful. Means it is such a uh, courteous word friends. See, when you just say someone to be very careful, it is not that that be careful okay so don't say that it is so rude to say someone be careful be careful is such a nice kind word okay be careful fine so you just tell the person to be very careful and especially in this particular uh, uh, you know scenario like pandemic and stuff definitely you can say this okay so when your friends go for a shopping and when you just bid a buy for them or you, when you just send off them for a party for wedding anywhere you can use this note be careful so this is as simple as saying take care friends so don't confuse yourself with the meaning of the word good and careful here okay it is all about the wellness it is all about being little more careful the next word here is stay away from the chaos <laughs> okay see right now it is really important what do you mean by the chaos chaos i have just told you all chaos is nothing but a very confused situation or a quarrel or a fight so whenever there is uh, anybody who just have to have to go on uh, you know office meeting or a conference or there is some problem always going on there in the office so they keep complaining to you about the situations there or some uh, uh, some of your spouse might work in the uh, medical industry okay some of them might be in the political industries okay politicians so everywhere so when you just tell them a bye you can always say this term stay away from the chaos stay away from the chaos especially to the uh, young children at home you can tell them okay so when they go to the college mainly they do this mistake they volunteer themselves to be in a very chaotic situations so tell them like you know okay be, be very careful bye stay away from the chaos this is also another way of saying take care friends the next one here is okay put yourself first put yourself first is a, such a positive thing 
when you say bye and when you just send off someone you can always say put yourself first means just go and have a very successful uh, you know visit just put yourself first means it is all about uh, taking success okay taking success or just be that one person to put your put himself first to achieve something okay so this is also quite normal friends you don't have to just go very deep into the meaning of what is put yourself first it is nothing but take care put yourself first the next one here is be cautious as you all know precaution okay be cautious means just use your sanitary uh, i mean sanitizer use a mask okay maintain social distancing everything is like being very cautious being very cautious so this in this uh, particular pandemic you can definitely say a bye along with be cautious be cautious the next one here is okay go steady go steady means that no ups and downs and don't just get your mood spoiled okay this is also a very nice way of telling somebody who is like emo emotionally very strong okay they emote very quickly and you tell them that okay bye take care or whatever it is you can say bye go steady means don't just emote quickly and go steady with your emotions go steady with your you know uh, drive yeah people who drive very fast to them you can say go, hey, go steady go steady so these are the uh, better ways to say take care to your loved ones or your colleagues and friends to anybody okay so stop saying this boring word take care from today instead just try to just you know keep it in your mind all these words or not at least three or four words among this and start using it from today the next one here is how can i use this uh, statement i am fine okay the better ways to say i am fine so whenever your friend or anybody who approaches you asking how are you so don't just give this boring answer i'm fine friends okay i am fine means very cliche one very very boring these days okay instead you can definitely use this term i am great okay you want to just tell someone that you're fine use this term i'm great i am great okay i am doing really well is also in another nice term i would say okay people ask you how are you doing today okay how are you doing today so i'm doing really great i'm doing really great or i'm doing really well so these two uh, statements you can definitely replace just to just tell them you are fine you're super good okay the next one here is i can't complain so this is more like uh, formal and uh, mostly used by adults okay uh, you if you see a uh, youngster or a young adult or, okay they, those people might just wanted to tell their friends i'm doing good good and uh, i'm doing great and all that but there are people who are quite matured and uh, you know you meet them after a very long time and uh, you just ask them hey how are you doing now how are you doing this is a very sincere note just go and want to really to uh, know that how how they've been doing all these years so in that case the answer you can answer them or the person can answer you in such a way i can't complain i can't complain means there is no big complain in life means i'm really good so everything every words every single statements here it's a better ways to say i am fine okay there is no negative answers here so i can't complain says that i'm really doing well okay the next one here is i am clean i am clean it is see this is not anything about cleanliness it is all about your wellness okay again i'm telling you when someone asks how are you i'm clean you see i'm clean it's not about your cleanliness it's not about your hygiene okay it says indirectly that you are doing well that you are absolutely fine okay you have no health issues probably you can keep it that way you have no health issues health issues and you are doing really well you can tell the opposite person i am clean the next statement here is i couldn't be better i could not be better than this you understand the term right i couldn't be better means you are doing absolutely fine so you could not be better than this so you are saying that instead of saying that i am doing great or i am great you say i couldn't be better i couldn't be better just try to replace it okay here and there you replace it once you say that i am great 
once you say that I couldn't be better than this not than this you can simply say I couldn't be better so please uh, don't just you know go with one way of replying okay don't be so monotonous in answering your friends just take by heart four or five among this and try to use all of this okay so that it just sticks to your life and you can just improve your speaking skills the next one here is I am motion source okay this is more like a very a uh, very much like a slang word okay mostly uh, corporates the people use this okay when you ask me how are you doing i am awesome sauce i am awesome sauce as you all know the meaning of awesome it's like yeah i'm doing really well good great and all that you simply say i'm awesome sauce i'm awesome sauce which means that you are doing really well with your work you're doing well with your uh, health and wealth maybe you can just generally tell them I'm doing great so I am awesome sauce so most used by professionals I mostly used uh, as a slang word probably you can see with the end crowd all such answers friends okay here the last one I am feeling splendid okay so example you achieved recently something okay you achieved recently something maybe you have successfully completed your degree and uh, you have just got a promotion recently okay so then people came to know about it or they might not know also they come and just approach you hey how are you doing with your work or how are you doing i'm feeling splendid i'm feeling splendid it's just to express that how good you are okay you are feeling so splendid with your achievements okay i've told you many times the word splendid is like being more excited about something something some of your achievements so splendid i'm feeling splendid is also the better way to just replace your boring term i am fine so as much as possible like now i've just picked up here and there some nice phrases to all of you today try to just at least use three or four among this and make it as a habit whenever you make everyday conversation friends that's really important okay so if you like this video please don't forget to press that like button that motivates me to do a lot more videos like this enrich empower and emerge with english all the best friends Thank you.